Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can trigger your Lightning Web Components functionality methods using your keyboard keys. So in today's example, I'll be having a form and in that form, I'll be having a button and I will trigger that button's click on my keyboard's enter key press. So guys, nowadays, UI is a very important part of any functionality. You must have seen the UI where you won't have any button. I would say, let's suppose if there's a form which is just asking username and password and maybe you, you don't have any button there and you just need to execute the functionality on the click of the enter key from your keyboard. So in this video, I'll show you how you can utilize your on key press events from keyboard in your lightning web component and also like how you can keep them open so that it can listen to a key press in your whole component. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So guys, actually, the thing is like nowadays, UI is a very important part of you know, any functionality. I mean, previously it might be like, don't judge a book by its cover, but nowadays like it is, if the cover is not good, then nobody's going to even, even open that book. So that's why uh, guys, the functionality is important, but the UI is also a very important part of that functionality. So you must have seen that functionality where you are not having any buttons or where you are having some fancy key press events on your form just to you know make the user experience more better so we are going to apply the same in one of the lightning web components so guys for today's example i have created a form in that i'm just having a button let me just show it to you so this is my okay uh, let's not call it as a form because like it is just having an input so this is my component where i'm having an input text and i'm having a button also and on that click of that button I'm having a functionality let's suppose like if I will type and click me so it will just display that text uh, underneath that button so the guys the functionality could be anything I mean this is just for the demo purpose so I'm just you know trying to keep it as basic as I can okay so now what we'll be doing guys we will just trigger this button's functionality on the on the uh, click of the enter button from the keyboard so like right now what is the situation like let's suppose if, if i will click on the enter key so it is not going to perform any functionality here because like we are not having those keyboards event here so let's suppose if i will hit enter now so it is not going to do anything okay so guys for that we have to add the event like there are multiple events so in today's video like key down key up key press so for this example, I'll be using a uh, key down event. Okay. So it will basically listen to my keys whenever I will press it. And this is my component guys here. I'm just having a basic form. So the, I mean, it is, it is completely, I mean, it is very, very, very basic. So this is just an input button. And just to display the text, I'm having another if condition here whether like we have to show the value or not on the click of that button and um, on handle change i'm just uh, i'm just getting the text value and on the click of that button i'm just rendering that button nothing else okay so this is the existing functionality guys now we will modify this functionality so that it can listen to our keyboard events and uh, usually guys like uh, uh, we can use it as mu at multiple places let's suppose like Maybe you are having a model pop up and you would like to close it on the click of the escape key. So in that case also you, you may use it. I mean, by default in quick action, we are having that functionality. So I'm not talking about quick action models. I'm talking about custom model. Let's suppose if you are having custom model and you need to close that on the click of the escape key or any other key maybe. So that is not, I mean, that is not uh, available by default. So you have to create this keyboard event for that as well. Okay. And also guys, like you may keep it open for your component, like listen anywhere. I mean, listen everywhere on your component whenever the key get pressed. But as of now, like we'll be just doing it for the input only. Okay. So for that, let me just put my phone on silent. Okay. So for that guys, we will do the functionality when the component gets rendered and it's all elements uh, gets loaded. Okay. So guys, as of now, we'll be just putting that functionality 
on a single input okay but you may also have it on your component itself like if any key get uh, pressed anywhere on your component so you can also trigger that event but for now like we will be doing it only for the input so first we will just get the dom element of that input so in javascript you maybe remember that old way like document dot get element by id or by name so here in lwc we can do the same thing using uh, this dot template dot query selector then you just have to uh, give the name on maybe identifier so for my lightning input i'm just giving lightning input like if you're having multiple inputs so you can you know uh, distinguish it um, using the data id so you may check the data id also like if you'd like to put it on a specific lightning uh, input but in my case as i'm just having a single input here so that's why i'm just using it like this and then you have to create an event listener here so i'll be doing add event listener so the first parameter you may add your event name okay then later on you have to add the functionality like what should happen when this uh, event listen to the key down so to add the functionality we'll just create a function here and okay let me just add it here okay so guys like this uh, so i have created a function here now using this value this event value we can identify the key so just to give you an example i'm just printing it in in an alert so in alert you can simply do it like key and we can have it like event dot key okay and code because like it will be returning two values key and the key code as well so in code we can just simply use event dot code okay let me deploy quickly so as of now like this is only on the input and i will also show you like how you can make it available on i mean on anywhere on your component okay so let's refresh the page okay now if i will press any key here so it will display me key uh, key name and the code basically like key d you may see here key a so that's how it is going to work okay now i have pressed backspace okay so now guys we have to check for a specific key in my case that specific key will be the enter key so here i will do like if event dot key is enter okay then i will just call my handle button here like this okay let me comment this alert box from here and deploy to the org okay it is deployed now let's reload this page okay now guys if i will press the enter key then it will it will be triggering that button functionality which is to display the text so let's suppose if i will type something here and press the enter key i'm not using my mouse and i'm not using any tab key here so when i will press the enter it will just display the text so basically i have just triggered that button's functionality or maybe the same function i have used here on the enter key as well and guys if you would like to use it uh, like on the whole component if you like to check like if any key is getting pressed or if a key is getting pressed and you would like to do some action on the press of a specific key or any key then you may just simply use the same event listener thing like add event listener uh, it is just like it will be with windows so it will be window dot add event listener and then the functionality will be absolutely same so yep uh, that's how like you may use the keyboard keys event you may also specify some special event like uh, on the on the press of a specific key you, you you may save a record delete a record 
or maybe i mean it it could be anything it is it is completely up to you so that it is for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you like today's video guys a subscribe to the channel will be awesome and also if you need the complete code so you may always get it from my blog which is salesforcegold.com so if you need the complete code you can just directly go to my blog and check that out all right guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching